Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 116A, Requirements for Certification Marking on Pressure Vessel. Our flagship course is Master Static Equipment Design and PV Elite and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now, how many of you have seen this stamping, ASME, stamped on a pressure vessel? Right. This is how the stamped or the certification of ASME looks. Okay, It's uh, authorized and issued by ASME to the manufacturer who has to follow the complete process of certification. Okay. It's not like someday you just woke up and started using ASME. No, there are lots of requirement which has to be followed okay, to get this stamp. Okay. So now the problem comes that if I'm a manufacturer okay, and I want to have this certification mark. Okay. So Unless I get a job, which is a certificate job, you know, it's a used stamp job. How I will be able to demonstrate the capability? Okay. That is the problem which comes, you know, we don't have jobs. So how will show the capability? And unless we show the capability, ASME will not issue the certification mark. Okay. So for that, we make dummy vessel, right? Uh, Akash is absolutely right. So we have to fabricate a dummy vessel following all the different steps. You know, we will even make a dummy purchase order coming from a client. So we have to show that what are the requirements which needs to be there in that PO. Okay. Now how marketing distributes that requirement to different departments right there is design there is planning how further distribution happens whether it is controlled by revision or not okay now if it the uh, design how we are making the design calculation no? each and every input if we are assuming something it has to be there in the report okay so the process is same, but we have to be very clear. Everything should be on paper. Okay. We should not be asking someone for the details. It should be there on paper. Okay. Every communication should be in writing. So that is what, you know, if we follow that, we make the dummy vessel, complete all the process, ASME will come and do the inspection, will or uh, discuss with your designer, marketing, each and every department. Okay. And then if they are satisfied, then th they will give the certification mark. It is valid for three years. Okay. Again, after three years, you have, it will go for renewal. Okay. Because if you are not getting used stamp job, it's not like you got the uh, certificate, you will be start uh, getting the different jobs. If, because if you are not getting, then again, you will forget. Okay, your people may leave who are part of that EU certification. Okay, so in that case, again, you have to repeat the process so that you are in line with the requirement. Okay, the requirements are fresh in your mind. Okay, great. So now, when we stamp a vessel, no, now the your organization is authorized to use this mark. You are stamping, so the main thing is that you are following the inspection requirement okay which are there in code if you refer ug90 from ug90 to 97 there are inspection requirement how the vessel should be inspected okay so if you are using authorized inspector and he is doing the inspection and you are meeting all the requirement from UG 90 to 97, then 
your vessel can be stamped okay now a question whether always i need to have a ai or the manufacturer's inspector also can inspect what is your opinion so akash is saying yes we need to have ai what you guys think what about others uh, subhan is saying no i guess uh, akash ai mandatory okay swatantrata saying yes it's mandatory okay yes to summarize it's mandatory but there is one exception okay in that case even the manufacturer can use his inspector who is not ai okay so typically when we say ai it has to be a separate agency you cannot employ they should they cannot be the employee of the manufacturer okay if your man if you are a manufacturing company and you have authorized inspector in your company they cannot be employed uh, cannot be used for this inspection it has to be a third party agency who will be doing the inspection okay now in one case code gives you an uh, exemption to use your inspector the manufacturer can use his inspector and make this vessel but in that case that stamping will not look like this it will look like this user that word will get added there making sense but there is one more catch only in that case asme is allowing you to use this when you are the end user yes hamansho is absolutely right when manufacturer himself will use he is the end user then only he can manufacture asme use as inspector and use this mark but then user has to be written and the end user has to be the same manufacturer okay now apart from that there is um certification what is that what is um certification anybody can highlight have you seen any time um certificate um stamp the um stamp is for yes miniature small vessels okay <laughs> it's not metric akash many times you know m is attached with uh, things and we you know, know that it's a uh, metric but it's not metric here um is the miniature okay the small vessels very small in size you know roughly 0.14 meter cube okay or 0.08 when smaller so in that range 5 ft cube 3 ft cube like that okay the pressure and volume both relations are there so whenever that is the case you can just go to u1 in u1 j clause you will find that okay what is the it is defined it's not uh, subjective that for somebody the vessel can be a small vessel you know compared to what jobs he is doing so it's not like uh, you know you have to compare it with what you are doing it's defined by code okay so it's not a subjective thing okay so in that case you can apply um okay small vessels prt we also apply this prt stamp what is this prt stamp what do you think have you any time seen prt stamp on any vessel or component partial part manufacturer absolutely right kejal absolutely right swatantrata also absolutely right so it's a part okay but here also there is one catch you know we all always remember that you know like if somebody is preparing a part it will be prt okay but one more very useful information which you should uh, you should remember is that they are not the designer of that okay they get the design done by somebody okay like the manufacturer who is going to assemble that he might be the designer he will give the design 
and prt uh, company you know the company who is certified with prt they will manufacture as per asme okay and supply to the manufacturer in that case they will apply prt they are not the designers okay typical editions himanshu absolutely right so typical edition case it happens now if many times you will see the edition manufacturer are not use stamp okay now you are getting that edition manufacturer from somebody your organization is use stamp okay but you are outsourcing that activity okay and the manufacturer of the edition is not prt certified in that case your organization who is use stamp you have to make sure all the process is complying okay you have to make their quality plan you know it will be it will come under your umbrella okay yes the if welding is involved you have to qualify the welder every process you, know, you have to it will become an extended part of your workshop all the process everything will be controlled by you all the documentation for in depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description